Hello viewers and welcome to Persia. I'm Umar and Persia is pesan nama dan santri Ibn Abbas Klaten. But before we start our agenda, let's start by saying it together. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Firstly, let's say our thanks and gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of Allah, we can live, we can be healthy, we can be smart and happy today and forever. Don't forget our salawah and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to his family and friends also. Like the title, I'll talk about three easy steps to upgrade our Tauhid. But before I get into that, I'll tell you a story. It's the story about our Prophet Ibrahim alaihi salam. Prophet Ibrahim lived in the society that worship and praise stone figure. But Prophet Ibrahim dislike it because Prophet Ibrahim always think that stone figures aren't a god. It's just a stone figures. They can't bring you any benefit or any trouble because they're just stone. I can make it also. And this made Prophet, Muhammad, Prophet Ibrahim go to a journey named the journey to find the god. When he, when he started this journey, Prophet Ibrahim met the stars. He think that, wow, the stars are so many, and they fulfill the night sky. So maybe they are my God, he think. But it changed when he see the sun. Wow, the sun is so bright, and it enlightened the day sky. So maybe the sun is my God. But again, it changed when he made the moon. Okay, maybe the moon was not as bright as the sun or as many as the stars. But still, it enlightened the night sky. And it's also beautiful. So maybe the moon is my god. And lastly, it changed again. After Prophet Ibrahim thing again. Prophet Ibrahim think that the stars nor the moon nor the sun, they are not my God. My God is the one, the eternal, that will be there every time I need and not will be gone one day. And this is the concept of Tawhid. Tawhid has one other concept that say that that is the obligation to worship Allah, the only God that we must worship. Right now is the month Ramadan, the most special month in the 12th month of the Hijriah or the Islamic calendar. This month only appears once every year, so I think this is a good time for us to upgrade our Tawhid to the next level. And how we do that? We can do it by just easy three steps to upgrade our Tawhid. In the first one, we can try to read our prophet stories. Or in Indonesian, it translates to membaca kisah-kisah para nabi. Why? It's very easy. And it's also very fun to do. Even kids will do it. You can read it, you can listen to it, or you can watch it through TV or YouTube. You can take it as a break from your work or study or any of your activity. And the second one is doing a small scale sunnah. Or in the nation, melakukan sunnah-sunnah kecil. Because why? Because sometimes when we want to do a big thing, it just being too heavy. And that is stopping us from doing it so. So I suggest that we need to do it on a small scale than the bigger ones. It will be easier to do and we can make it as a combination so it will be a successful one. Uh, for example, every time that I do wudu, 
I will say salawah and praise to our Nabi, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We will wudu every day at least five times for every prayer that exists in the day. So this will take us to do also five times of salawah every day. Just times it by the day, by the week, by the month and the year, and we will get um so many amount of salawah that we do. And the third one, maybe this is the hardest one from the three, is consistent and adding up more good things. Or translate to in Indonesian, consistent dan menambahkan hal-hal baik. Why this is hard? Because being consistent is a very hard thing to do. I'm not exaggerating. It's very hard. Because every time we want to do something, the sometimes will be something again that will block us to do it so. So I suggest that we need to be consistent at least for two or three days to doing something. And we need to adding up a more good things that we want to do. So if we combine this, at least you will add up a new good things that you want to do every two to three days. And every time you do it, it will be much easier for you to do it again. And this consistency will make up a new habit. That is very important to be consistent every day. So, the conclusion of this that I will deliver in Indonesian, so you can easier to understand it, is: Yang pertama, cobalah baca kisah-kisah para nabi, karena itu penuh dengan pelajaran yang bisa kita petik. Yang kedua, lakukanlah sunah-sunah kecil, karena itu lebih mudah dilakukan daripada sunah-sunah besar. Yang ketiga. Konsisten dan nambahkan hal-hal baik setiap kali kita bisa, karena itu adalah basis dari kebiasaan yang akan membuat kita lebih mudah dalam konsisten setiap hari dan istiqomah. Okay, I think my time is up now, so I think I will end up my speech. I am Zulfikar Aladin Umar. Don't forget me nor my face because maybe in the future we will meet again. Sorry if I deliver to you many mistake and many wrong things that I say to you, so please forgive me. I think that's all from me. So, so we will end up this speech by saying, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.